keyboard. A keyboard is an input device. It has many buttons, which are called keys. These keys are pressed to type words and numbers into the computer. These keys are also used to give instructions to the computer. Let us together find out what are the various type of keys and what are their functions. Alphabet keys. There are 26 alphabet keys marked with A to Z. These keys help to type words and sentences. The number keys. The keys marked with digits 1 to 9 and 0 are the number keys. They are 10 in number. They are used to type numbers and digits. In how many places do you find the number keys? Two places. One above the upper row of the alphabet keys. Two on the far right of the keyboard. This is also called the numeric keypad. Then special keys. These keys are used to perform some particular functions like the enter key and backspace key. First we'll learn about the enter key. Enter key is used to move the cursor to the next line. It is also known as the return key. There are two enter keys on the keyboard. How many? Two. Backspace key. Backspace key is the key marked with a back arrow. It is used to erase the letter to the left of the cursor. Like, if you type balloons and press the backspace key, it becomes balloon. Here's some additional information. The numeric keypad works only when you press the numlock key and keep it on. Try to find the numlock key on the keyboard and press it on and off. The keyboard has a light for this. You will have some fun. Cursor. Cursor is a small blinking light on the monitor screen. Delete key. Delete key is also used to erase the letter but to the right side of the cursor. You can also delete selected text and graphics using this key. This key is very useful. Shift key is used to type symbols and capital letters when it is used in combination with other keys. There are two shift keys on the keyboard. Find them out for yourself. Symbols Symbols are present on the number keys. These keys are marked with digits as well as symbols. To type the symbols like at the rate, percent, ampersand, etc. For that, we need to press the shift key along with those number keys. Let's write at the rate and ampersand symbol. To type at the rate symbol, press shift and then the key. Same with ampersand. Caps lock key. Caps lock key is used to write the alphabet in capital letters when it is on and in small letters when it is off. Keyboard has a light for caps lock that indicates whether the caps lock is on or off. Punctuation keys Punctuation keys are used to put punctuation such as comma, full stop, colon, question mark and hyphen. On each punctuation key, there are two symbols. One is marked up 
and the other is marked down. If you want to type the symbol which is marked down, simply press the key. If you want to type the symbol which is marked up, you need to press the shift key along with that punctuation key. Alt and control key. The control key is normally present on the bottom left corner as well as beside the arrow keys in any keyboard. Alt key is normally present on the right and left side of the spacebar. These keys are mainly used in combination with other keys to perform many useful functions. Key combination Key combination is the use of two or more keys on a keyboard to generate a specific result. You can press these keys either at the same time or one after the other while holding down each key until the last key is pressed. Some of the popular key combinations are Alt F4 which closes the current software window Control Alt Delete restarts the computer In a nutshell a keyboard is used to type words and numbers on a computer. Special keys are used to perform some particular functions. Punctuation keys are used to put punctuations such as comma, full stop and colon. Shift key is used to type symbols and capital letters when it is used in combination with other keys. Key combination is the use of two or more keys on a keyboard to generate a specific result. Now is the time for some quick revision. Please answer these questions, fill in the blanks. Dash keys are used to type comma, full stop, colon, etc. Punctuation keys. Correct. Dash key is used to type capital or small letters. Caps lock key. Correct. Dash key is used to erase anything typed on the right side of the cursor. Delete key. Correct. Dash keys are usually present on the right and left side of the spacebar. Alt key. Correct again. Now, Take the correct answer. The answers are given below in the option. Dash keys are used to perform a particular function. Special. Dash is the key marked with an back arrow. Backspace key. Key combination is used to generate a dash result. Specific. Symbols are present on the dash keys. Functions No, the answer is number keys as the number keys are marked with digits 1 to 9 and 0. To use the symbols, we need to press the shift key along with the number keys. Okay, now some true and false questions. 1. Shift keys are marked with two symbols. False. Delete key is used to erase the text. True. There are 10 alphabet keys on the keyboard. False. To close the current software window, press Alt plus F4. True. Mm, you got all of these correct. Good. Can I ask you a puzzle? Yes, yes, sure. Okay, five puzzles I'll ask you. Let me see if you can answer them. Here comes the first one. Which key is the longest key on the keyboard? Spacebar key. Oh, you were quick. Which key is used to erase text 
to the left of the cursor. Um, backspace key. Write again. This key is used to type capital letters. Caps lock. Correct. Which key is used to go to the next line? Um, to go to the next line. Enter key. Wow, correct. Which key is used to type words? Alphabets. Correct. It seems you have listened to this video attentively. As you have been able to answer all my questions quick. I had a good time too. Hope you enjoyed. Do come back for more videos. As we are making more such ed educational videos. When you give us a like or subscribe, we feel motivated. Please leave us a comment as I read all your comments in my free time. We thank you for watching our video.